the other thing that's obviously propping it all up was this um, extra levy on coal. So has that just been accepted now in Queensland? Is there much of a fight over that? Obviously, the resources companies don't like it, but is the opposition um, kicking up a fight over that? Where's that? Where's that at in terms of the actual effect of it? Yeah, so they've obviously been campaigning the Queensland Resources Council for quite a few years now. They were quite annoyed with the Treasurer at the time for not consulting them. The Treasurer and the Premier, the new Premier, Stephen Miles, said they won't back down. They believe that the coal royalties belong to Queenslanders. They've taxed them higher. Um, and it's, it has delivered a massive windfall for the budget, about $10 billion this year. It tapers away, but it seems like the coal royalties are here to stay. They've legislated them now, so any government, a Chris Fully government, would have to change the law to remove those coal royalty tiers. David Chris Fully's been quiet about the coal uh, royalties. He also um, knows that uh, the Queensland Resources Council would turn their campaign on him. It's expected to be the focus of the Queensland Resources Council in the campaign, but to tax coal miners, to tax big business. It's not going to be too politically difficult for Treasurer Cameron Dick mm. to sell, and that's why he's done it. That's exactly why he's done it. So, yeah, an overall opposition reaction. Uh, we, we've discussed before that the LNP seems pretty small target. Are they willing to stand up and go, no, this is too much spending, or just giving a sort of thumbs up to all the extra um, cost of living stuff? Yeah, well, yesterday, Tom, they came out and uh, delivered the usual sound bites. The opposition's shadow treasurer, David Janetsky, argues that never before has a Queensland government spent so much and taxed so much and borrowed so much. David Chrysafulli's pledged to share some details of his plans in his budget reply, which will be delivered tomorrow. So whether or not uh, the government is going to kind of, you know, continue their attacks on the LNP for being a small target. I think they will, regardless of what David Christopher comes out with tomorrow. But the budget, it's been sort of widely criticised by the LNP, but they've also said on the same hand that uh, they're going to endorse it, they're going to back it, they're going to vote for it. So it's, uh, it's a funny little hmm. political game happening in Queensland here at the moment, just four months out from an election.